I absolutely racism do. and sexism absolutely. you put it on the same level as, as cultural appropriation. That's exactly. So if somebody wears their hair like you're wearing it, you put that on the same level as as racism. Absolutely. I put this this man needs to lose his job. He needs to lose his job. This is this is this is ridiculous. Man, so look, I came across another crazy video for y'all. Now, before we get to the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Like, bro, it's free. It is free. I need y'all. It's all in the link description box below. Go down below, follow your boy. Without further ado, man, I watched a, a video similar to this, but I guess this is um, on different topics, but it's still around the same topic. Y'all go see. Without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. These are all celebrities who have been called out, criticized, and condemned for cultural appropriation. Has anyone here ever called someone out for cultural appropriation? You too? You have? You have? Idiot, 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 idiot in the back. Uh, who else want to be an idiot? Yep, yep, yep both of y'all too idiot, yep. Has anybody here ever thought twice about wearing something or doing something, even cooking something, out of fear of being accused of appropriation? Nope. You have? Yes. Yeah, well, yep, stupid. What was it? Um, my daughter had braids and she wanted me to get braids that were just like hers. Why her but not you? She's um, half black and half white. Okay. And so I just think that Something should stick with those cultures. Bro, what is, bro, why is this even a topic? Why is this even a conversation? Literally, I'm just, con I'm, I'm honestly confused, okay? I don't, this culture appropriation, this is the worst type of topic you can ever bring up in America. I, seriously, I, culture appropriation. Bro, who cares? You're not going to tell me what to and what not to wear. If I want to get dressed, I can get dressed. If I, if I was a woman... Okay, if I was a woman and I was white and I wanted to wear braids, I'm going to wear braids. You're not going to tell me what not to wear. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about your culture. I'm not downplaying your culture. If it came from your culture, you should be glad that somebody else that's not a part of your culture is wearing something that's part of your culture. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? If anything, it should be a cultural appreciation, to be honest. Because, bro, if I wear something that's a part of your culture, you should be like, dang, you know... <laughs> Hey, other people wearing our stuff that we started. Why be mad about that? Y'all just want to start any and everything, bro. Any and everything. Well, no matter whether you believe it's harmful or you think people should just be allowed to do what they want, there is no doubt this is a hot button topic that people are passionate about. Dr. Neil Lester, a professor of English at Arizona State University, right? I am. Yes. And you've published, lectured, and taught extensively the area of African American studies. What do you think about appropriation? Do you think this is a real thing, something that people need to be cognizant of? And if so, why? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, because if, if we, in fact, are trying to look at the humanity of other people, and we are trying to live in a place where we are trying to be respectful and mindful of folks, then we need to be aware of things that are important to other cultures that don't necessarily look like us or share the same values. So it is a thing and people need to be aware. Okay, then tell that to all the black women that wear blonde hair, they, that wear red hair, things that didn't originate with the black, uh, with uh, African Americans. And tell them that then. Uh, seriously, y'all just make everything a problem. I so, like I said, bro, if it's not one thing, it's another. I mean, y'all make everything a freaking problem. It's not a problem that somebody else want to wear a style that maybe was part of my culture. Okay, like I said, I wear turbans. And I, do that mean I'm part of the religion that wear turbans? No, that is not. It's just I like the style of a turban, so I might wear a turban. I'm not disrespected or downplaying their culture. If anything, I just like the style of it. I think it's very, think it's very stylish. What, what 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 is the problem? What is the problem? You talk about we all want to respect one another. Damn, if we want to respect one another, how about y'all stop worrying about another person? Uh, uh, stop worrying about what another person wearing. It don't matter, bro. Where can anybody appropriate? Uh, anybody can appropriate. Yes, not just white people. Uh, absolutely, yeah. appropriation is intersectional. So. 
old people can appropriate youth culture. Youth culture can appropriate old folks. Uh, people who are not incarcerated can impersonate uh, you know, prisoners or those who are incarcerated. Uh, men appropriate women's attire for the sake of funny uh, and mocking. So absolutely anybody can do it and everybody on some level may have flirted with it. Okay, but a lot of the time that people that I've seen are called out for this, it's not that they were making fun or mocking in some way. It was just that they had adopted a, a fashion or a style or whatever. I would say that's a performance. So if somebody's culture and somebody's identity becomes a performance, then it's reductive. So if you're reducing, for example, say, the civil rights movement to an afro and you wear that or you wear dreadlock wigs, you know, that uh, Rastafarians may wear, you do that because it's edgy, because it's cool, but ultimately because it's not you and you're getting some kind of cultural capital from that by doing it. And, and who's hurt by that? Well, it's not a matter of who's hurt by it, it's who's being disrespected by it. Well, Ain't nobody being disrespected. You people need help, bro. I, every time I watch a video, y'all gonna make me turn to alcohol. Like literally, y'all gonna make me turn to the drink. I, and I don't drink. I, I, I'm underage. I don't drink. But I'm just saying, dog. Y'all be so like, bro. The stupidity in some people, the 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 non common sense in some people. Like, I thought common sense was very common. I thought it was free. Apparently, it's not because you got people like him. He's a professor, by the way. Okay, a professor. Why are you even thinking like this? Cultural appropriation is the dumbest thing ever, bro. It's not, bro, no, no cultural appropriation. Let people wear what they want to wear. Let people dress how they want to dress. Let people wear what hairstyle they want to wear, bro. Seriously. Well, who's being disrespected by it? A then? whole culture of people whose identities are wrapped in whatever you're dressing into and can then take off. Amal, you don't agree. I don't, no. You think worrying about appropriation is a waste of time? I, I think not only is it somewhat a waste of time, but it's nearly impossible. You just mentioned there are nearly hundreds of ways that one could appropriate somebody else's culture or their, their livelihood. And to expect any one human being to keep on top of that throughout their entire life, I think, is an unrealistic ask. And I think imitation is a form of flattery. I appreciate my food by eating it. I appreciate the hair that I wear by wearing it, by putting on the clothes that I, that I wear. And every single item around us in this room could probably be attributed to a certain culture. Do we have to constantly worry about what culture we, we gain things from? Does intention have anything to do with well, it? Well, I guess I didn't hear anything about anybody worrying about it. What I, heard, what, I, what I hear about when I think about and talk about cultural appropriation is people becoming more aware of it. We could say the same thing about racism, sexism, homophobia. Just because you can't solve it and don't see it at every corner doesn't mean we shouldn't be aware of it and trying to address wow, it. Do you so really in, put those on the same level? I absolutely Racism do. and sexism, absolutely. you put it on the same level as, as cultural appropriation? That's exactly So if somebody wears their hair like you're wearing it, you put that on the same level as, as racism? Absolutely. Wow. I put... This, this man needs to lose his job. He needs to lose his job. This is, this is, this is ridiculous. You people are stupid. I, you people are stupid. You just... I wear the same hairstyle as you and I all of a sudden I'm racist. Oh, my God. Oh my God, oh my God, this is, you people are dumb. You people are honestly idiotic. I'm so, bro, I'm, I'm lost for words. I am seriously lost for words. You really put racism and sexism on the same level as cultural appropriation. Sorry, I mean cultural appreciation. Cause that's what it is. It's not appropriate, it's, it's appreciation. <laughs> This is ridiculous. The fact that people actually sit and think like this is honestly disturbing. Put that on the same wow. level as white supremacy because white supremacy is intersectional. <gasps> Do you have a story or a question? What? what? Polls go back. No. Wearing it, you put that on the same level as, as racism. Absolutely. I put that on the same wow. level as white supremacy because white supremacy is intersectional. Do you have a story or Wow. That is, bro, that has to be the most dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. He put racism and sexism and white supremacy on the same level as cultural appropriation. Somebody wear dreadlocks that is not black or actually dreadlocks uh, freaking originate in ancient Egypt. 
Okay, ancient Egypt. So you you wear stuff like that, or somebody wear braids, or somebody wear this color hairstyle. Apparently, that is racism, sexism, and white supremacy. That is crazy. That is freaking. That is, I am, bro. <laughs> I'm shocked. People actually have that type of mindset. That is ridiculous. That is honestly ridiculous. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.